colonialism, a system of domination in which one nation controls and exploits another territory and its people, has left an indelible mark on global history. The formal end of colonialism, marked by the wave of decolonization in the mid-20th century, saw many nations in Africa, Asia, and the Caribbean achieve political independence. However, the legacy of colonialism persists in various forms, and the struggle to end its influence continues with many calling for an end to colonial rule ahead of the 2030 UN deadline. Trust TV's Dorcas Yakubu completes that report. The history of colonialism is extensive and complex, spanning several centuries and involving many regions across the world. The legacy of colonialism is evident in the political, economic and social structures of former colonies. The arbitrary borders drawn by colonial powers have often resulted in ethnic conflicts and political instability. Many former colonies continue to grapple with underdevelopment, dependency on primary commodity exports, and debt burdens rooted in colonial exploitation. These has led to calls for decolonization. We really have to organize to make sure that those uh, territories still under colonial rule or not self-governing must re regain their independence as soon as possible. That's the essence. When a man is enslaved, it's a problem because he's owned by another human being. So when a country is enslaved by another country, it's also a problem. So you can never, agitations can never end unless people determine what they will do. If we have a vision of a united world, that, that unity that can only happen if we are all equal, if we act in equality. And that's not, the imperialism and the colonies is a system uh, that opposed to that equality that we're fighting for, that we're looking for. Colonialism has left a legacy of racial and cultural hierarchies that continue to affect national identities and social cohesion. Despite the pervasive influence of neocolonialism, stakeholders say there's a growing need to resist and challenge this domination. So in a society, in a world where we want more development, we want to have less hunger, we want a place where people can live in peace and happily together. It is extremely important that people are no longer dominated and oppressed and in many cases violently so, which has been the process of colonialism that we know to date. The struggle for true independence and self-determination continues as formerly colonized nations seek to overcome the legacy of colonialism and assert their place in the global order. Bringing an end to colonialism in the world involves addressing both the remnants of traditional colonial practices and the more insidious forms of neocolonialism that have emerged in the post-colonial era. Dr. Siakubu, Trust TV News, Abuja.